Good morning, folks. Let's start at Space Weather News to find solar flaring still very low. It's odd because usually this many sunspots would precipitate activity, but here there is little magnetic mixing. The opposite polarity umbras are spread instead of smashed together. All were active but went quiet when facing Earth. Interestingly, a small filament snap just west of center has NASA thinking a small shock wave is heading in Earth's direction. Here's the endless spiral. SOHO shows that some light ejecta is definitely present, but I won't even think twice about this one. Otherwise, it has been one calm star, only the SDO satellite maneuver gives us anything to see, with those jolts back and forth. Calm sun and calm earth. The solar wind is steadying into ambient quiet conditions at the moment, but I expect disruptions to Earth's shield with the coronal hole stream on the way to strike within the next 36 hours. Interesting article here out of the ESO. It is all about magnetars and the most powerful gamma ray bursts. This one focused on a December 2011 event here. You can also find a link to the June state of the climate report for the United States. As El Nino sets in, the heat does as well, dominating the landscape. We have also seen climate extremes in terms of precipitation. Going longer term, we see a split picture of 2015 so far, and if you go back 12 full months to last summer, it is a perfect split, with some areas actually recording the coldest last 12 months on record. With weather, we'll start at Europe because these lows are easily diagnosed with the precipitable water flows. The eastern system, pulling from the Mediterranean, is the important one, especially since the water temperature there has been soaring the last few days, an ungodly temperature surge actually, and the energy is producing tornadoes. This one hit Venice, and as you can see, there are people driving right into it. Sure, you see people doing this on this side of the pond, but usually they're in super specialized vehicles made for tornado hunting. Apparently all it takes over there is curiosity. Anyway, western system weakening on the Chinese coastline, but the remaining systems are heading at southern Japan from different angles. I indeed worry about earth spot effects here within the next week. A bit to the west, we see the storms heading towards Hawaii, much weaker. The Gulf heat and moisture racing up into the states has been causing weather stress for weeks on end, and it will continue today. Long storm line, but the worst of it will be towards the Atlantic areas of the convergence and then the southwestern portion at Texas and into New Mexico. Down under, you see high pressure only on land with the purple lows spread around the outside. You can see here why it's the lows that draw our attention as the high pressure just doesn't carry enough precipitable water. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.